To all of my fellow brothers and sisters, peace be with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Ben, and I welcome you to the Restored Ephraim Publications channel. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, when are we saved by grace. And uh, we're going to look at the, the Book of Mormon to see what the Book of Mormon says about that. Uh, but first, if you haven't already uh, done so, uh, check out my latest uh, Bible translations. Uh, there's links in the description below on where you can uh, get them. Now, as I, I mentioned, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, when are we saved by, by the grace of Jesus Christ. And I know that that, or at least I've I've, I've seen a lot of, of argument among Christians on this topic. And I think that the the Book of Mormon gives a a very good uh, answer uh, to that question. And this comes from the book called Second Nephi, in chapter twenty five verse 23, uh, written by the prophet Nephi, uh, who loved to write about uh, uh, Christ and to, pers to persuade uh, his children that would be in the future to believe in Christ. And this is what uh, he writes. He says, For we labor diligently to write to persuade our children and also our brethren to believe in Christ and to be reconciled to God. For we know that it is by grace that we are saved after all we can do. And so, according to this, uh, we learn that uh, we are saved by the grace of Jesus Christ after all we can do. And what this means is that uh, the grace of Christ is not some magic wand that will uh, allow you to sin all you want and then as long as you confess that Jesus is the Christ you'll, you'll be saved. Uh, what, what it means is that you are to use all your your your, your strength to, to keep the commandments that Jesus Christ gives and uh, all of us are sinners and through the grace of Christ we can overcome those sins through repentance and his, and his grace uh, we the, the uh, we work to cast off the sins, which means that we stop doing them. And then, uh, after we've, after everything we've been able to do on our own, uh, we are we still come short. Because once we sin once, then uh, we're we're guilty before God. But when we use all our, our strength to to keep uh, trying to live in the way that the Lord wants us to live, then where we fall short, the grace of Christ makes up for that. And we can be forgiven uh, of, of that shortcoming that we're not able to do on our own. And I believe that this is true. And I also believe that the Book of Mormon is true. And it helps me to, to better follow Jesus Christ. And so if you have not yet read the Book of Mormon, I would invite you to, to, to read and study it and, and pray and ask God to know if it is true. And I believe that through the Holy Spirit, the, the Lord will give you an answer. I'll leave this with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.